I am going to show you how to use your Creality Falcon 2 Pro without a computer and how to engrave from the SD card and it's really pretty easy. Uh, right now in Lightburn I have my Maker's Mark open and I usually put my Maker's Mark on items that I wood items that I make with my CNC machine. So I've got it open and selected and most all the parameters are ready to roll here but one thing I want to take note of is I am going to change my start from absolute uh, coordinates to current position and I want to start in the center and essentially that's it you'll see the green dot here in the center that's where your engraving is going to begin and then all you want to do is write save G code select save G code and let me put it on my let's see this is what I want I want to put it on the root directory of the SD card and it's JEH creations makers mark small and also I could make this a two inch uh, makers mark a three inch four inch five inch and then I could just select from the card now I put this laser in my wood shop it's very dusty and dirty and I actually ruined a computer not too long ago when I tried to vacuum dust off of the keyboard I sucked a whole bunch of the keys up so that was kind of stupid so that's it that's all you have to do to prep your uh, Creelty Falcon okay I only get one shot at this so if I say or do anything stupid you'll have to live with it uh, I have a tray that I made on my CNC machine and I have it positioned where I want it and now what I'm gonna do is hit the frame button on here I have the TF card inserted and I'm gonna hit the frame button and I'm happy with the placement of the item so now what I'm gonna do is just hit the start button and it's going to start engraving. And this will just take a minute. I'll speed it up if it takes too long in the software. The only thing I, I don't like about this in particular is there's no fire button. Like I would like to put a mark on the center of my tray and have a fire button show me that I'm aligned perfectly in the center. If you can do that, I'm not sure how to do it. And also, I have the lid alarm overridden so I can video this. Normally, you'd want the lid down and the exhaust fan on, obviously. And I didn't quite get it in the center where I wanted to get it, but, you know, whatever. My maker's mark's on it. It's on the bottom. That's all that matters. And I probably could have stood to um, engrave it a little darker, but I'll make another pass, and uh, that'll be that. But anyway, it's super easy. All you do is set your parameters up in Lightburn, go to File, Save G-Code, put the TF card into the machine, frame it, align it and then hit the start button I would move this and show it to you, but uh, I want to run a second pass. Actually, no, I don't. It's okay. Let's hit the home button. Ah, it doesn't want a home. So anyway, here's my maker's mark. It looks pretty good. It's not in the center. Uh, but again, that doesn't matter. I put them all over the place when I make things, just as long as it's there. So 
So it's so easy to print from the SD card on the Frealty Falcon 2 Pro.